All right, let's switch it up. So, this episode begins with a special delivery. Bam! Justin, what do we have here? Jump bikes. Holy smokes. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me give the viewers some context real quick. This is literally the first time I've ever seen a jump bike. The other time was on a Casey Neistat vlog. Shout out Casey Neistat. Apparently, these bikes launched last week in Santa Monica along with some scooters. First impressions off the bat, Tony, what do you think? Well, it, it definitely pops because of the red. Little yeah. tassel action. Yeah. Oh, 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 Rex. Oh, oh. Rex. I walk into the office today and I see these bad boys. Do you know what these are? These are jump bikes. These are electric powered bikes. So from what I've read, you could use the Uber app and you can find bikes located around the city. I think they're available in the Bronx and Staten Island. I want your honest opinion. Mm -hmm. We're going to hit you with the cinematics. Mm -hmm. But then after the cinematics, mm -hmm. you got to let me know how. What do you think about the bikes? All right, ready? Let's go, Rex. No lights on these easy handle. Easy handle. Okay, go. Go. Ooh, that's a full pedal right there. This is good. This is great right here. One crank. I see I'm gonna bend the corner. Do not run into the wall, bro. I'm not nice. shut up. Ah. <laughs> I'm not. Nice. Wait, hold up. Do you approve? So look, I'm still going. I almost made it back. Look, I ain't on front. Damn, that's still off one pedal? Yeah. You didn't pedal around the corner? And I didn't break when I hit the corner. Oh wow. Okay. And I ain't break when I hit the corner. So we got from start point around and almost halfway back off one crank on three. So honestly. If you want my honest opinion on it, okay. I was on the fence when I first got on, but now I'm kind of convinced that this would be something. I can see myself using this on nights where I'm just far enough to take a train, but I don't, I'm far too far to walk. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I would hop on this and damn near just three crank it all the way to the crib. <laughs> <laughs> three cranks. In an older episode, I mentioned that I have additional footage with Jason Petrie talking about the LeBron 16s. Well, that embargo has lifted, and here's the footage. So the story this year is is really around the strongest, mm -hmm. uh, and so we thought like if you could build the strongest team, it would be five LeBrons. Like there's no, if you had LeBron at every position, you're not beating that team. You know, we're just playing around. It's like 2K thought, you know, yeah. like kind of thing. Um, but so that's that's really the concept. So. What we're gonna start off with here in a couple days is called the starting five. And this is basically, it's basically a what the of all the colors that are coming um, this year. And even shows off a lot of the different details that we have coming. You see the two different constructions in the heel, uh, which we have a couple of different constructions. This one has the TPU. This one's fully double lasted. You see the lion um, detail. So basically it's just storytelling, giving you like a glimpse of what the season has in store. And everything's kind of remixed and shifted around, but it's all the details all the way down to even we mix the knits up. So you have the base of one knit with the top of another knit kind of coming together. This is the, the shooting guard uh, position and black red. I mean, it's just that killer mentality. So this is point guard um, and this is based off vision. Um, I called it 2316 vision, but I think it's called 2020. Um, but it's just, LeBron's seeing stuff way before anybody else does, and he's seeing the whole picture. So you see this kaleidoscope of colors, even down to the details, like the thread is is uh, iridescent. So you have that whole spectrum of color. The swoosh has that iridescence in it. Um, again, these fine little details when you get up to it. Um, dunk man on the bottom is translucent. You're kind of seeing through it. Even this, here's, here we get a different construction where you have the heel clip in the back versus the double lasting. And, uh, this is iridescent translucent, and when you look through, it says what we do in life, and one shoe echoes in eternity on the other shoe, kind of like his tattoos, and really just saying, if you have the vision to see, you know, kind of see through to that vision, you can carry it through. That's just a quote that LeBron carries with him, so just wanted to have a little notion of that in there. And this is the King colorway, so this is his natural position, small forward. And uh, this was just really inspired by that first Nike poster where he's sitting with the lions. Um, so that's kind of where the color comes from, and that cheetah, you know, where he's dressed like a king. Um, gold details on the bottom, just regal. Um, you know, kind of this really beautiful stitching details. 
Again, we got a different construction on the back where we kind of got this really luxurious kind of handbag webbing with the, with the stitching and uh, the cheetah fur. Um, and even like, again, a nod to that poster throwing the old school logo on the, on the back of the tongue, just like a nod to, he's been a king since he arrived. You know, that's, that's what he's always been. This is power forward. Um, and you think of power forward, man, that's really like that lunch pail position. You know, you're down there doing work on the boards, you're banging. Uh, with big cats in the lane and taking a lot of abuse so this is really um, based around kind of like just that fundamental like hard working strive for greatness like that uh, that's what we call it strive colorway so i think of lebron's blue collar kind of beginnings where he's coming from akron and like so you know we carry he's, he's carrying ohio with him all the time you see like uh, the use of like this boot leather type of feel really really tough and durable familiar um, Again, this different construction where we had that luxurious kind of feeling webbing here, we've got a reinforced, like really tough, almost like back, uh, like strap kind of thing, like you would use on a tool or something the working man's gonna use. Um, that's why we have the red, the red detail and the translucent dunk man. It's almost like that red blood of, of, of the working man. And I say man, meaning everybody, but you know, just working hard, working your fingers to the bone. When you turn the lights off and hit this with a flash, it's fully reflective underneath the knit. You got reflective details, so it's like, you know, even though, um, you may not see it when the lights come on and, and you shine the brightest kind of thing. Like it's those, those stars that are inside you, that, that kind of power is gonna come out when you, when you call on it. And then the last one is um, for the center position. And this is all based around his foundation. So we worked with them and LeBron to really get, uh, you know, again, we are family, their, their, their logo. On the other shoe, it has their crest um, as well. And then a lot of um, quotes, just a kid from Akron, Hashtag SFG, some LeBron, you know, always tags on his Instagram posts. Um, and then when you look at the multicolored nature of the outsole, the swoosh is, it, it carries that full spectrum. When you look at the high tenacity um, elements of the knit, they're in multiple colors because, you know, LeBron's school and foundation is not about color, it's not about class, it's, it's about everybody coming together, helping everyone, helping kids around the world, helping families around the world. Um, so we just wanted to express that through color with a neutral base so that that color really pops. And I, this is one of my favorite sock liners. This, they, they uh, the foundation actually drew up a lot of these really cool hand-drawn logos that you'll see. Um, again, left and right shoe is different on a lot of these shoes with the details. So um, we only have one half of the pairs today, but when you, when you see the full thing, like all these extra details come to life. I hope you guys learned a lot about the story behind each colorway that makes up the What the LeBrons. I believe this episode has gone on way too long. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on the next episode. Deuces. You already know we're gonna take these bad boys out. We're gonna see how fast these things really go. Trust me, daddy. We're gonna see how easy it really is. You just wait. Bye.